Good morning and welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and we're just about to spend an hour together hanging out, relaxing, staying safe in the warm and dry, I hope you are. How did it go with the storms? I hope that you're safe. I hope that there was no damage, that nobody was injured or hurt. Um, it was pretty bad around here, lots of trees down. Um, but there we are, you know, and now we've got Franklin, Frank coming in. What about where you are? Come on in. Come on in and, um, and let's get started. We'll just give you a chance to get in the building. Oh, let me just, oh, glasses on, glasses off. Paul's in the building with you. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Very blustery. Shut the door. Heating's on. I hope you've got a cup of tea with you. I'm just about to, um, I was throwing pots or turning them last night and I just realised my nails are disgusting and I apologise. I, I apologise. How unprofessional of me. But it's because I was doing pottery last night and, and then it doesn't get the dirt out completely when you wash your hands, I'm afraid. <laughs> best way to wash your nails clean your nails is wash your hair <laughs> don't you find yeah no i couldn't possibly do crafting with these filthy nails that's disgusting it's bad enough that they're not manicured and all lovely now but there you go that was the decision i took because i was fed up with making a pot that was a bit rough a pot and then gouging it right at the last minute with my fingernail that's so frustrating um, even leather hard, even when they're hard. If you've got long talons like I had, it's no good, doesn't work. So there we are. Sorry about that. Come on in. <laughs> I hit the go button, then I looked at my nails. And I thought, oh no, I should have looked at my nails before I hit the go button. Right, entree. How are you? Huh? How was your weekend? Did you lose much off the roof? Couple of tiles came down. No trees in the garden. Lots of trees between here and work. Um, yeah, one Marion ich weiß. She says one storm after another in Germany. That's it. So we started out. I can't even remember who was before Eunice. Dave, the, the Donald, Dave, Dick, Dudley. Was it Dudley? I think it was Dudley, wasn't it? Can you imagine Storm Dave? <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't laugh about things. This is very serious. Anyway, let's have a look. 250 hours today. Yeah, all aboard the bus. 250 hours. In fact, I, was, I received a very beautiful card that I'm going to show you. Look. 250 hours of the Shack Shack. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive me. No. Look, isn't it lovely? Beautiful example of parchment. 250 hours of the Shack. To Barbara, thank you for your time planning and company, company and skills in the Shack Shack for the last two years and now 250 hours. Well done. I have joined you for most of the hours and I now have a large selection of doodle books with creations I would never have tried before. That's brilliant. Here's to the next 250 hours. Absolutely. Best wishes, Geraldine Adicott. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much, Geraldine. Yeah. Do you know? I love it. I love it. This is what makes it all worthwhile. When I, when I hear that you are doing things that you never would have tried before. I'm doing things that I never would have tried before. So it works for me and it works for you. And you know what? My headache's gone. I get the most stonking headaches nowadays. And I know why. I really do. I don't have to go to the doctors to know why I get a lot of headaches. However, here I am. I flick the um, the, the door switch to let all my friends in and my headache's gone, you see, because I'm thinking about other things. Isn't that great? 
Judith Topham, I'm back. Boom. Who saw the lovely throwdown? I did. Very, very emotional. Very emotional. I cried my eyes out. Yeah, Christine, wonderful piece of artwork. They were all wonderful pieces of artwork, to be fair. Um, but it would have, it was clear as soon as you knew the emotional message coming through that art. That was powerful, wasn't it? Yeah. And Jenny, bless her, her work was so beautiful, so beautiful. And, and I found, um, if you didn't watch it, she created, a, they, were, they were creating self-sculptures. And Jenny's sculpture, it was her as a mother on the front and then as a potter on the back. That really resonated with me. And where her seams split, now I've done that myself, okay? This is, I'm just saying, right? Her seams split because she, she sculpted it, then she slit it, and then she had to gouge out the centers. Totally got that, understand why she did that. And then she had to rejoin it. Now, as a potter, and I would like to say I'm not an expert, but I know, I know my way around it now, right? Having made so many mistakes, if that was dried too quickly, if they speed dried it, you see, that join had to dry slowly. So that's, I've done plenty of that, but usually you have to dry it slowly. So if they speed dried that in the drying room, for example, then it may not have had time to, to seal properly. But her work was immaculate and um, I really liked hers as well. It spoke to me as does a lot of artwork. So yeah, that was the, um, oh, somebody's saying stop, haven't watched it yet. Okay, sorry, Jill. Nothing happened. <laughs> Put your hands over your ears. Anyway, so there we are. You're in for a treat, Jill. It was pretty good, whether you know who left or didn't. Uh, fantastic show. I was a little bit out of love with the, with the gnomes from a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't be done with that. Not my cup, cup of tea. But, you know, having said that, we have our, our, our good people, don't we? Our good gnomes. But it just didn't, not in pottery. <laughs> not for me, anyway. And there we have it, you see. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Art is very subjective, isn't it? And what are we doing? Well, we are still pressing on with our lettering. So let's have a look because I wanted, to, we were talking about reflections, weren't we? Let's have a look, shall we? Are you ready to have a look? So what we did last week, just to recap, let's check while everybody's coming in. Good morning, come on in, come on in. Right, here we go. A5 piece of tracing paper. And then what we did was, just to recap, we folded it in half because we're going to do a reflection. Let me put my other glasses on. Here we are. Right. And then what we did was we drew, we doodled some trees and a little landscape in the top like that, didn't we? So I can put it over here now. And then what we did was we folded it on the fold, okay, then we turned it over. I haven't done anything since we hung out together on, on Thursday. Right, then we turned it over and then we took, uh, let's have a look. To transfer it, we needed a sharper pencil. So we took an, a hard pencil and then we went round on this side and then we transferred it to that side, didn't we? So let's get this right now. We've got, we've got graphite on this side. And we've got a very, very light transfer of that graphite over here now where we, we pushed it through from that side. But what we want to do, you see, let me just think now. I had this in my head. I need to turn it over because in a minute we're going to push the graphite through to our best, right? So just check yourself. If I take a pencil now and I come around here, let me just see. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting the transfer here, right? So rather than penciling on that side, let me think for a minute. Because in a minute, I'm going to have to turn it round. And we're going to, because of the because it's got words in it, I need to transfer that side. Right. I've already done that once. Right. So now what I've got to do is where the writing is backwards, 
I've got to put the soft lead pencil on the back side because in a minute, let me explain, when I turn it over to put my reflection down, I'm going to need the graphite on the back side, not on the front. It's all about the writing. Does that make any sense? So don't think, don't overthink it. Just turn it over. And if the writing is back to front, then you need to, if you like, apply lead or graphite to this side. So when you flick it over and you push through again, then you, you've got a transfer. You've got something to transfer. Does that make sense? Cool. Right, let's come in a bit closer and let's get started, shall we? Let's do that. That'd be nice. Okay, let, let, me, let me just waffle for a bit while you get your pencils and you get your, um, your graphite and get your, your thinking head on. Because that's what we do, isn't it? We just hang out together and we relax and hopefully we'll get a signal. I had, we had a power cut here for the best part of Friday, most of Friday actually, we had no electricity. And um, you don't realize how much you use electricity until you haven't got it, eh? And then, um, and then I went to pottery yesterday morning because they're in Kroger, so they had no, um, but they had, they had electric again yesterday. But there were, there were a couple of ladies there that hadn't had electric, still didn't have electric. So they enjoyed their coffee when they got there. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, you know. We're very, very lucky living in an old house because one, we've got an arga, so that kept going. That's that's handy. And two, so you could boil a kettle on the arga, see? And, um, and like the whistling kettle, quite nice, actually. And then also we've got log fires, log burners. So, so that's handy, you know, but for people who are completely reliant on electricity, it's quite hard, isn't it? If you fold it the other way and then trace the top drawing, would that work? If you fold it the other way and trace the top drawing, I guess, yeah, if you want to. I'm going to stay in one piece, though. But yes, you could, couldn't you? Well thought through. I'm going to do it this way. So... So what you're saying is you could just use the same piece twice. Yeah, but no, I'm going to stick to what I, what, I'm not going to confuse myself more than I already am. Thanks for the suggestion. Right. You do that. Let me know if it works. I'm sure it will. Right. But what I want to do now is put, just apply a little bit of lead with the HB pencil to this side because it won't take long. So I'm just going to come around here. Here you go. Right. And I'm going to just add my graphite to this side. And then I've got both, haven't I? So I'm sure that this will work. I must say, you you know, you, you've picked me up on it and I and I and I do agree with you. I'm not 100% sharp at the moment. Normally, my head is crystal clear. But at the moment, I have to say, I'm... Um, it's like I've got... Too, uh, it's like a computer. It's got, I've got too many windows open in my head at the moment. And, uh, and, and the old brain is slowing right down. I'm not going to say I've got burnout because that's a serious condition. But I've got to take it easy. I know. Be all right, though. Here we go. Relax. Stay with the fingers. Mm -hmm. Stay with the hands. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Right. So if I put, yeah, so I'm just going to, all of these, have I done this one already? No, you see, so that's why I'm, reflect. This is a nice, a nice exercise actually. To emit <laughs> time. There you go. And then we've got our,
landscapes. There we go. And then the hills around the back. And we've got some lovely sunshine. Spring is in the air, eh? Put a few birds in. That'll do. All right. So now I should have, I've got the top and the bottom. And I've got um, lead on the whole side, right? So I think now I need to transfer it. What we're going to do now is transfer it to, to best. Okay, so I thought it's up to you what you use. You can use anything. All you need is a pencil and a piece of paper to, to join in, isn't it? It's just a distraction, friends. That's all this is. And we'll learn a few little tricks at the same time. I'm going to use our stencil card. It's really good quality. So I haven't decided, again, it's a bit of a moving feast. I still haven't decided yet how I'm going to colour it in. But I do need the line art. So whichever way I choose to go, I certainly need the line art before I begin. And the thing about the stencil card is that it, um, it's good because it can take water and ink and, you know, it can take, you know, it's, it's, it's quite robust. It doesn't blister or anything. Right, so let's have a look. If I'm going to, I'm going to stay in the middle of the piece, right? So that I, I mean, I know if I, I could put it like that as well on my, on my piece of stencil card. Let me come out of it so you can see it. Right, I can do it like that. As long as I can read time to reflect at the top, I'm in the right, I'm in the right place, aren't I? Okay. Or I could put it in the middle like that. And that gives me quite a bit of wiggle room. And I think for the, what am I going to do? I'm not going to worry about. So hopefully I've got this right now. So that's straight enough. That'll do. I'll just leave it. I'll just do it on a hinge at the moment, only so that I can make sure that it's right. I'm going to do a little test just to get it right. Because like I said, my head's a bit foggy at the moment. It's all right. I'm in terminal. It's a bit foggy. Let me just open this little fella. <laughs> so I don't how the, oh, I can't even open the sharpener. Hang on. Why is that not opening it? Oh, Barbara, what am I doing wrong? Oh, here we are. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Do you feel sorry for me yet? God, pathetic, isn't it? Right, graphite. Okay, what we were, what we were, what, 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 what we got? H. All righty. Oh, that sounds a bit ropey. H, that'll do. <laughs> do you know? It's not easy, is it? It's not easy being me, I'm telling you. Do you sometimes feel like that? It's not easy being me. If you had any idea, my head is honestly, talk about washing machine. Talk about washing machine head. Doesn't take much to get me going. <laughs> right. Um, concentrate, Gray. So what we're doing now, I'm going to transfer, but we'll do a little test. <sighs> so what I'll do is I'll just see if I've got the graphite in the right place. So I'm using a hard, huff a hard, because I want to transfer it well. Now, let me see. If I just come along here. All right, that's good enough. And then let me see if it's come out this side. Now, why hasn't that come out? <laughs> I've got it on the wrong side. Now, why did that come out then? All that smart idea. What did I do wrong? Stay there a minute. What about that way? <laughs> yeah, I know. I had a 50-50 chance and I blew it. See, because it's a reflection, I'm starting to think that you were right and I was wrong here. Let's try this one. 
See, that's why we t test it. Yeah, all right. Okay. So that's the top and that's the bottom now. Just do a little test so you've got it right. Okay. Do a little test for yourself. Make sure it's straight as well. That's straight enough. So I know. Let me do another little test. Let me just check this. Now I'm my confidence is shot. So yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. <laughs> oh, it's just a Monday. What do you expect on a Monday? Hmm? It's blowing a hooli outside. I'm glad we've got we've got any kind of connection. I've got to go to work later because we've got it all going on at work. So um, so when we're finished, I'm going to head on over to Edenbridge. So that could take a little while. I don't know if there's the the tree situation is still the same as it was on Saturday. <laughs> but I'm determined to get this done, if nothing else. Right, so let's start. And I'm going to use a bit of copy paper to lean on. And then I'm just going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down. You cool with this? <laughs> oh, it's a good job you're my mate. I tell you what, if I was doing this for a, for a living, <laughs> if this were the telly, I've got a telly show on um, on 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 Friday at nine o'clock and one o'clock. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. Let's get going. Right here we go. So what we're going to do is transfer the line art to the. to the page and I'm literally sweeping down from the top so that I can see what I've done and what I haven't done and this should work quite well are you working with me or are you just watching and drinking coffee and hanging out with us it's fine either way you know that Right. Just need to get the shape down, really, don't we? And then once we've got the outline down, then we can infill the trees, I suppose, can't we? You need a steady hand. You got have you got a steady hand or not so steady? I've got quite a steady hand at this point in my life. I can always change. There we are. Now I wonder, let me see what I've done and what I haven't done. Oh yeah, that's coming together quite well. There we go. See, once you settle into it, it's starting to do the trick. Not only are we getting some nice line art going, but we're also relaxing again. There you go. That worked. There. Let's do the word. I think I only came down this far. Right, let's do this bit now. So we've been we've been really focusing on quite a lot of lettering, haven't we? But that's quite nice, you know. I um, I want to take all the artwork that, that we've been doodling over the last few months into the studio today and sit with Jazz and have a look at... Because I think there are so many beautiful stamps and stencils and ideas that you and I have doodled together. I think that could set us up for the rest of the year, to be honest. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, look, see, it's coming together lovely. What about yours? Hmm? 
Is it working? So I've done that bit and done that bit. Because in a minute, I'm going to turn it round, I think. Once I'm happy that I've got everything on this side, I think I'll flip the artwork. I'll draw. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I can see what you what you meant now. So you could just flip it over and go again, couldn't you? If you wanted to. Good thinking. But it's more fun like this, <laughs> isn't it? It's a more, yeah. But you're right. Sometimes it takes somebody else to see the obvious, doesn't it? Hmm? There you go. See if that this is working now. Yeah, good enough. So once we've done this. Be nice to ink it. I'm looking forward to that. Right, let's go around the outside. I'm just going to go up to there. Yeah, so the storms have been quite well in different parts of the country. I think the north. The north of the country got it really bad, didn't they? Yeah, I think um, I think we got away with it really. I mean, I know that I know that poor, some poor souls lost their lives and people were injured, but in the main, I think we got away with it, don't you? I often think when you see what goes on in in Haiti and other places in the world, storms, even in like Mississippi or, you know, we have quite mild weather conditions by comparison, don't we? Right. Yeah, I think this has worked quite well, hasn't it? Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what I wanted to say as well. A huge thank you um, to you for supporting us with the, um, you know, the Woodland Creature sets that, that I, I showed you on Thursday. Let's have a look. Make sure this has worked. Just that bit there. Um, I showed you the woodland creature sets because I said, oh, we, we need something new to colour in. And um, I couldn't believe how many of you invested in it. I was such a really amazing, actually. I would say if there are 200 people in the room, then 75% of them, 75% have already invested. That's, that's a lot of people that want to join in. Isn't that, isn't that great? I love that you love Mel's artwork and I love that you're supporting us. Have a look. Right, I reckon I've got that now. So that's the reflection, let's say, and that's the top. That'll do. And now I'll remove it because I want to be able to use it again. There we are. So I've got mine. How about you? Hey, puts on long distance glasses so nothing's a blur. There you go. Have you finished yours? I'll give you a chance to catch up. Um, let me see. I'm just waiting. Just bear with me a minute. Right. Great. So glad. Right. 
I needed some information because everything's up in the air and I wanted I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. So I've just got a message from the boss um, at the craft store because I wanted, there's a lot of, you know, mixed messages. So you're hearing it straight from, from, from the horse's mouth here. The Create and Craft, you know that Create and Craft and the craft store have gelled, haven't they? And so there's been a takeover. And funny enough, our little channel took over the large channel. There's a lot of stuff up in the air. And so we still are, uh, we still exist. However, the name will now be Create and Craft. So I want to tell you, maybe you'll write these things down so that you can find it. Say, for, for example, on Friday, I should be on the telly, but it, the, the channel name will have changed. So get your pencils out, because I want to tell you this, and, I, and I've been reaching out to get this information right. So the first day of the new Create and Craft, that is us, it's just they've, they've changed the name from the craft store to Create and Craft. Just go with it. It's not important. What's important is when you click Create and Craft, it's us that you get. Just know that, okay? Don't, don't, doesn't matter what we think about why. It really doesn't. I think I've got my own opinion on it as well, but it doesn't matter. It is what it is, remember? So, so it's called Create and Craft from Friday. That's the first thing you need to know. All the way through till Thursday, it'll be what it is existing now. And then on Friday, you're going to look for, ready? The channels will be 85 on Freeview, 683 on Sky HD. Do you know what that means, don't you? High definition. We never had high definition before, the craft store. This is a big advantage, huge advantage. So what that means is that from now, from Friday, all things being equal, I mean, I've got the nine o'clock show, so it's quite ironic, really. But the point is that from Friday, the craft store, now named Create and Craft, will have HD, high definition, much sharper pictures, much better lighting, just much better. That's the theory. May take a couple of days to bed in, but it will get there, okay? It's always chaos when you, um, when you launch a new TV channel, which is what this ostensibly is. Not completely new, but to merge two like this is a big job. Adam knows all about it now. The channels will be 85 on Freeview. So there's your answer to all of those of you who are wondering whether we were going to keep Freeview. Yes, is the response. Also, 683 on Sky Hyder HD. Very good to know. And 813 on Freesat HD. HD as in high definition. What a result. Okay. So did you catch that? Paul, maybe you could just write it up. Doesn't matter what it's called, as long as you're still there. Thank you, Ken. I love you too. There you are. Yeah, and we are still there, very much so. Ironically, this is quite ironic, is the very first day that I went to Hochanda, as it was called then, which was quite a few years ago now. I was, I was the anchor when we started that new channel, the new channel, which then became the craft store for loads of reasons, lots of headaches. It just crazy stuff, really. Nothing, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. And we've rolled with it and we've gone with it and we've stayed with it. And, and now, ironically, we're called Creating Craft again. But actually, the ethos that is the craft store, the ethos that was Hachanda slash craft store, right, that um, demonstrations overselling, that kind of uh, more arty, creative aspect, which is why I... I left the old Create and Craft to begin with because I really wanted to be more arty, right? Yeah, it kind of lost its appeal for me back then. We're not going to lose that. Honestly, well, no, we're not. I'm not. I can only speak for myself. We're still in the game, okay? So, so I was just really, I thought it was important for you to hear it right from the boss what, what the game is. And now I've told you. There we are. Good. Wanted to get that out of the way. Thanks, Adam. Okay, next thing. Um, right, back to art. Any questions on that one? Or are we all right? Paul, yeah, Paul's put up the good virgin. No virgin. No, no, virgin's out. 
but free sats on. There you are. Virgin's too expensive. Right, here we go. So now we're back to inking. And if you've got any questions, Paul, take questions. And if I know the answer, I'll give the answer. But I think in essence, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. So nine o'clock on Friday. If you want some, if you want to watch, see what happens, come along on Friday uh, at nine o'clock and one o'clock. I've got um, a, a crafting with clarity double hour. Ironic that I'm I'm on the launch day again. Last launch day. Oh, that was a bit loud. Last launch day. Back in the, it was cool. That was really something else. And it was the best day. I remember it. It was chaos. We had like one mic between us. And we, or two mics between six of us or something, right? And we were jumping around. And then when we, we had to keep taking the mics off and giving them to the next person, it was such a scream. And then, you know, it was just, just trying to make things happen on a budget, you know? And we've done it. It's quite something. It's quite something. I mean, I'm on the board now. That doesn't give me privilege. It, it, is, it doesn't give me, um, it just means that there is a voice for the customers and the suppliers on the board, very important. And that's it. And if you know me, you'll know that that's, that's exactly what it is. So anyway, yeah, so how far we've come. And now we need the pens. So I'm going to go in my little box of tricks here. Do you know, I have to say, this box as well, right, this is like my therapy box. And I've got drawers... Most of the drawers in my kitchen are like this. <laughs> but I find there's something, there's something, even for somebody like me who likes to have everything in control, there's something quite comforting about this, I find. So lots of little bits and pieces and art and pens. And, and usually what I'm looking for is in this chaos. You just got to look for it. There you go. I'm looking for my pens. Found them. Might as well take my rubber out because I'm going to need that in a minute. And I know now that my grey pencils are in here too. And my brush pen, which I haven't forgotten about either. Yeah. Oh, and so before we start inking, also, this was what I was talking about. The 75% of you have gone for it. I was, I can't, well, yeah, thank you. So these are these uh, woodland creature packs that um, Lisa's working on now, and these are going to be our new colouring project, and I want to start in March doing this, right? I want to start in March. I mean, the artwork is immaculate, look, absolutely immaculate. Uh, illustrated by um, Mel Turner, coloured in for us by Dee Paramore. Let me see. And but uh, and printed and collated and put together for us by Lisa at work. Lisa Reddick. Look, isn't that beautiful? So, so this is a colour inspiration that comes with the set. Okay. But then you get loads of different A4, A5, one of each and A6 one of each. So we've got loads of colouring opportunities. And what you'll see also is there are very hairline, Lisa put these hairline grey cutting guides in as well. So that if you, for example, you want to do this one, which is the Woodland family, right? Then if you wanted to split it, it shows you exactly where you can cut it. So yeah, one for test and one for best. So I like that a lot. And, uh, and we really appreciate you um, investing in us because that is what you're doing. Um, top quality card, top quality prints. There you go. There will be those that copy, you know, uh, but, but we really appreciate your support because it's needed. Right, so that's available. And we're going to start colouring in. I thought we'd start in March. That will give us plenty of time. Give Lisa, I think she got caught with her pants down, really. We didn't expect such a response, which was quite heartwarming. Um, and so um, she's busily printing them out at the moment. Some have gone out, but the vast majority of them are being printed today. Right, here we go. So I'm going to go with my number one. 
to make sure we got a good one. Nice micron pen. There we go. Time to reflect and off we go. Oh, I missed the middle line. That's all right. I can put that in afterwards. So I think I'm just going to start. How about you? And relax. So I'm so glad I got that information from the TV because it's been a, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, you know, and these things, it's not like one is withholding information. This is just, this just all takes so long. There are so many things to think about. And, um, and everything's been up in the air, especially regarding channels and that. This stuff isn't, it's very complicated. It's way beyond us. But they've, they've negotiated a fantastic response for us, a, a fantastic deal, you know. What I'm really pleased about, and I think you should be too, is the HD, those two little letters at the back. They make the difference, you know. We've been whinging about it for two for too long <laughs> we have but it's great that's really great okay you you wait and see the difference substantial now i'm just trying to get comfortable with my my hand sweep which way i want to go you know You don't want to press too hard. There we are. That's better. Okay. Good. So those are the trees. So with the reflection, you see, you probably don't want to do it in black, do you? Because the reflection is going to be, I'm going to turn this around. The reflection is going to be uh, not as, we don't want it to be that black, do we? What do you think? I think it needs to be left in pencil, maybe reinforced in pencil. Do forgive me if I, if I sound a little bit um, unprepared because usually I'm, I'm pretty well prepared. But just at, at the moment, with this big TV merger, you know, there's a lot going on here. So much going on. And, um, and so I'm a little bit distracted. Right. It's going to be nice when it's done, though. And the whole purpose of this is to get with our hands, get out of our heads in the nicest possible way, you understand? There we go. That's what we need to do. Just calm the mind, eh? Slow down. It sure works, doesn't it? It sure works. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? If you think about it, so so we had. I need to put a line in under here. I think I can get away. I wonder if I if I use a ruler, or I just let me just go in here like this, do it by hand. Um, reflect. There it is. Um, you know, we've spent two years now. Got to 
stay at home, haven't we? Two years, stay at home. Don't leave the house. Don't need help with people. Stay safe. That's, that's how the shack was born, wasn't it? And then the week, <laughs> the week, and there's got to be a message in here somewhere, friends. The week that the government says, right, go on, off you go. Don't worry about your masks. Go on, go another party, celebrate. <laughs> Him upstairs goes, eh, eh. And then he throws a storm in the mix. Oh, and that, you're not listening. So F Frankie, or what was it, Dudley, nobody took a... So let's throw Eunice at it. Oh, you still want to go out shopping. Right, here comes Franklin. <laughs> so we've had Dudley, Eunice and Frank. I think there could be a message here. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? You can finally go out and then the weatherman says, stay at home, don't leave your building. Well, what can I say except thank goodness we are crafters, hey? Reflect. Do you know, I think I've got a feeling. Well, no, leave it there. It's obvious what it says. Right. Nice, nice, nice. What about the, shall I put a, do I want to put an edge around there? Yeah. Come on then. Right, here we go. Clean sweep, coming round. Wonderbar, that will do. Okay. Time to reflect. And then we've got it in the base as well. So now what I think I'm going to do, though, is take my H pencil. I think I'll take my H pencil. I don't want to smear it. And I'm going to reinforce this bit, but not in black. Do you, are you with me on this? H is a bit, what do I think? A bit too harsh, isn't it? Because if it was in the water, it'd be softer than that. Come on then, HB, bog standard pencil. And you've got to kind of keep your eye on what's it, what it's reflecting. Happen there. There, Barbara. It's a C, not an O. Yeah, the old, um, certainly still very blustery outside, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There we are. What have we got here? An I. And another T. Nice. Yeah. This is going to look better than in black. It wouldn't make sense. I used to do reflections with a brayer. Do you remember? With stamps. Just to roll the... Cool. Dined out on that for a few years. We ought to do a, I ought to do a, a demo with that again. That was... Um, Quite something, really. And you used to take the stamped image and and you'd stamp up the image and then you'd roll the brayer so you'd transfer the ink from the stamp to the brayer and then you'd put the... Ref that would be the reflection. So you put the reverse image down then, lay that down, then you flick it around, then you stamp the what was ever above the water into place. So it was the reflection first off the back of the brayer. And... Um, I, I can't tell you how many thousands of speedball brayers. Um, it kept the business afloat for the first 15 years, I think. <laughs> that and the pattern building. <laughs> Those were the two things. Yeah, it so did. We'll just try it again. What let it down was when they, they stopped making Adirondacks, because those inks were just I'm just perfect for it. But I've got a feeling that you could do a good job of it with the distress oxides, because they're quite, um, they're very good for stamping those distress oxides. 
So I may have to have a play when I get some time. Time, 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 time to reflect. Sometimes I think we get despondent. I can only speak for myself. Sometimes I get despondent when I realise how much I want to do, but how much I haven't done, you know. And I tend to focus so much on what I haven't managed to do that I, I forget how much I have managed to do, you know. I really shouldn't do that because... Again, I can only speak for myself, but I, I do so much, you know, art-wise as well. When I, I, I ought to just stop when I start thinking I'm useless because I haven't done this and I haven't done that. I just look at my photographs, you know, on my phone. The amount of art that I, I won't say churn out. Let's say create, that's more positive. I think we've got to be careful what kind of words we use sometimes. Hey, eh? I don't churn it out. It just spills out, I suppose, doesn't it? All right. But I think what I'm trying to say is I should look more at what I have achieved rather than what I haven't take a closer look at what I can do rather than what I can't do. It's just turning it round, isn't it? Just turning it round. A yin and a yang, isn't it? There's always a positive for every negative. Right, let's have a look. There. This is looking so pretty, isn't it? I like this. And I think you could use just one half. Let's go back through this now. Because, I mean, we used the fold and transferred it like that. But say I'd just done, let me just think, if I'd just done the top half, okay, and then I'd transferred the ink to that side, so then I could just flip it and use the same half, couldn't I? I could, but I didn't. And I've got two of them now. Yeah. Do you know, you could do a beautiful scene. Core. Cool. I've just had another thought. Say you took these trees. Let's say you lose that one and you push that one over there a bit. And then instead of putting rolling hills in the back. Yeah. Wow. You could put boats in there, couldn't you? Like, get that. Just put put a little sh a boat in there, the figure eight boat that we I've drawn. Could just do. I could just. I'm looking now at the South Downs, and you could put a literally a line across the back, and that could be the the sea there. Do you see what I mean? Just a straight line that could be the sea, or make it into that. We've made it into a. A bit of a stylizing. There's a lot of room for play in here, friends. Now, what we've got to do now is before we continue, we want to put some veins in the um, in the trees, don't we? Branches, veins, branches. So let's go back to our our original one. So, do you want to go straight into your artwork, or do you want to put it on your See, me, I'm not that keen on going straight to the artwork because then I've got to rub everything out. But if I go to this one, now we've got our... So I think maybe we could use our friend's idea with the... with the. Um, with the veins on this one, couldn't we? So what we've got to do now, I was just looking for this. See, we want to put the branches in, okay? So we could put some branches in there. Keep it simple, hey? Okay? Let's make them look good. So what do you think? 
if we do Y's, so you go, see the trouble is with that there, it looks a bit weird. So you could go up and then do a little Y. Okay, let me think this through for a minute. Rather than coming at the same place, let's stagger it. Right, start again. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> right, so actually I'm going to repeat that one, that Y, and I'll put another one up here, smaller Y. Okay, that's better. So we'll just come in and do, if we do a couple of Ys like that, this is a really easy way to start the, the day. Look, put a couple of Ys in, do another one there, like so. Okay, so you've got your Ys in place. Can you see this okay? Shall I come in a bit closer? Of course, someone's written loads. Let's see what that person said. Margaret Craner. Good morning, Margaret. I remember sitting outside the pub with you and lots of other Clarity friends at the time you left Create and Craft and you were worried to death about Dave's health. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Yes. Yeah. There you go. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Sometimes we forget why. You know, I forgot why I left Creating Craft. It wasn't, it wasn't just that I was out of love with the art. Dave was really ill. That was what it was. It was a lot. Of, it's never just one thing, is it? It's always loads of things together. That's right. Dave was really ill. He's all right now, though. Yeah. So let's go in closer. So we're going to go in here with our Ys like that. See? So this looks good. And they're kind of pointing upwards. There, like that. And if you wanted to add more, you can. But I'd say less is more at this stage. Should we do a couple in here now? Look. Up. Just like that and then yeah just a couple of y's so what we're doing is look yeah there that'll do this is good this is easy so just always going upwards so let's do another couple of y's yeah Yeah, that's right. Cool. That was a game. There. And then the last one, we'll do it again. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? There we go. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Because I really... I had actually forgotten how ill Dave was. There, doesn't that look good? Boom. Now, these ones, again, we could, how are we going to do that then? Okay, so if I take my, now I can work it out. So now I could take those and put them, oh yeah, all right then. So now I could take those and put them in the reflection because the graphite's on that side. So just figure out where you where your graphite is. This would be easy now, right? And now let me take my harder pencil. Let me just check that this has actually worked, this little theory. <laughs> yeah, who says? Cool. There you go, teamwork. So now I'm going to go in here and add my branches. Good idea. And of course, while we're doing this, we're, we're also adding um, lead or graphite to the back. So in a minute, I'll be able to add the veins to this side as well. Well, you'd have thought we had a plan here. Hey, see if this worked. Yeah, so... As far as the TV stuff goes, right, we're, we're launching on Friday um, on the new channel. I hope you come and support properly. 
um, come and cheer. Be kind. There are a lot of people losing their jobs, a lot of upset, a lot of sadness. There's a big change. Nobody likes change. Nobody likes change. Forming, storming, and then hopefully norming. Um, so just be kind, be gracious. Same with the sale. We're trying our hardest to get the orders out. Uh, then, of course, half the staff, well, not half the staff, but a good number of staff couldn't come in because of the storm. So it goes on. It slows us down. We will get there. I think we can see the bottom of the barrel now on the orders. Now, let's see if I come in this side now. Let's see if this works. Yeah! Cool. Um, we're definitely getting through to the bottom of the, the basket now. So it should start speeding up. I reckon by the end of this week, everything will be out as far as the orders go. It always takes a month because we make, we make to order. Yeah. So I think it's just a question of just being patient. You know, we're not Amazon. <laughs> Amazon's got a lot to answer for, but we're not Amazon. And um, always, always know that we're doing the best we can. There you go. That's always the case. And hopefully, this will have worked now. Yes! Well, I say, I say, I say. Right, now, just to end on a perfect note, I just want to put the in here, and then we've, we've done it, haven't we? Because we've got the, yeah, check that out. And I've got between now and Thursday <laughs> to work out our colouring scheme. I actually have already got it in my mind's eye. I just need to see if it will work. Just come with your pencils. Come with your pencils and we'll go from there. Hey, you need a few grey pencils. You could use a lead pencil and your pergo liners or your polychromos, whichever you have. Whatever pencils you've got, and then we'll try some, we'll try some shading tricks. I just need to reflect on it for a bit. That's all. And on Thursday, I'll remind you again of the Friday places to go and so on. So that'll be all right. And then we'll just go with the flow. Don't sweat the small stuff. There's enough to worry about, isn't there? Just relax. Transfer your artwork. Can you do this so that we're up to speed on Thursday together? What do you think? I think that'll be quite good. This week, your priority has to be staying warm, staying dry, staying safe, you know? That's the priority, love. That's what you've got to think about. Tomorrow I'm off to mum and dad's to make sure that they're safe. Yeah. We do what we have to. Right. Doesn't that look nice now? I like that a lot. There you go. There. Came out nicely, that did. Didn't it? Time to reflect, eh? Good. All done. 11 o'clock. Great to have your company. I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll carry on on Thursday and we'll throw colour at it. Do something lovely uplifting, spring-like, shall we? That's, I think, that's where we should head. Something fresh and bright. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. It's always great to have your company. 
sets us up for the week, doesn't it, Mandy? This is a busy week for a lot of people in TV land and in craft world. So bear with us while we plough through. And Paul, thank you for your help. And um, if you've got any questions, just ask Paul. He's always got the answers. <laughs> uh, have a great week. Lots of love. And don't forget, if you haven't got your woodland creatures, then perhaps now's the time to get them. Thank you. Bye-bye.